it's Krista from Covering the Bases and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, I am a fashion blogger, fashion and travel blogger who just happens to post on YouTube once in a while. Um, I try and shoot for once a week. I'm hoping to start doing two a week, but who really knows? So basically, like the title says today, I'm just going to try out new makeup. Um, I'm not a beauty guru blogger at all. I just kind of really like to do makeup sometimes. Um, and I found a drugstore that has a lot of the really good uh, drugstore type foundations and brushes. So I like picked up new stuff that we'll talk about in just a second. I also picked up some stuff from Nordstrom uh, from Charlotte Tilbury that I have been dying to try out. So I thought why not just do it all at once. This is the final product. I just wanna quickly mention that we didn't put on any blush or eyeshadow or do eyebrows. Think of me like your best friend who just went to the drugstore and was like, hey, I need a new, new foundation. I picked this up and this is what I liked and did like about it. Um, don't think of me as like, she didn't put on her concealer at the right time and her nose contour looks gross because that's just not who I am. I mean, I, I know how to do makeup, but I don't really know how to do makeup. So take this video for what you will. Um, but either way, thanks so much for stopping by and I will stop talking so you guys can just see it and I will see you guys at the end. To start, I'm gonna open up this package from Amazon. Um, if you remember in my last video, I did not have a mirror, so I was doing my makeup basically blind which I don't recommend for anybody. So I'm like surrounded by 15, 17 packages um, of stuff, so we're gonna do an unboxing video, but this is not gonna be part of that because I just need to get out the mirror so we can do this. It's a good mirror, guys. You just screw it on. There we go. This is now the mirror. Woo! We're gonna start out with the Charlotte's Magic Cream. This is one of the new products. I actually, I ordered the eye cream and I got this um, as like a gift with purchase. So I'm excited to try it out for the first time. It smells like roses, but it kind of has a texture of like sunblock almost. Oh, this looks really good. So it's super moisturizing and it does, it does smell like roses. Um, it feels really, really nice on the skin. And I'm also gonna go in with the Under Eye Magic Eye Rescue. Um, this I'm excited for because it's also supposed to be super moisturizing and um, my under eyes have been really dry and like freaking out lately. So I'm hoping this will save them and do the trick. I've been using it for about two days now and I love it. It definitely feels like it's almost like tightening. I don't know what it is. The other gift with purchase um, is the Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. So this is supposed to give you a glow and also kind of hide your pores. And we're just gonna put that in the center. And we're not gonna use too much, but so we're gonna pat that in. So a little definitely does go a long way. Because I just put the Charlotte Tilbury almost like primer on, I'm not gonna use the Milani one, the Prime Light Face Primer. Um, I did try this out yesterday just in my bathroom and this one says that it is um, a strobing, like reflective primer and I just put some on my hand and you can definitely see it and it definitely does work. Um, but I didn't really notice anything different from like the other primers I used. I started this whole drugstore charade was I was trying to find the Wet n Wild Photo, the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation and the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. So in the Milani I got Creamy Vanilla, which is number one, and Natural, which is number two. And I, I'm pretty sure I need to mix both of them to get my color. And then for the Wet n Wild I got, um, nude ivory and soft beige and i'm also pretty sure i need to mix both of these but we'll see fully on my face so this side is going to be milani and this side is going to be wet and wild uh the milani one is a pump and i'm just gonna pump like half a pump and then i'm gonna pump the other one right next to it like this and another thing i'm really excited for is i got the eco tools um beauty blender which i I've seen a lot of people really rave about because it really helps get in those corners. So I just made it damp. Um, I'm gonna use the other side. Actually, I'm gonna blend this in first. I'll put it on. Okay, so now we're just gonna blend this out. 
So I'm going to my sister's wedding um, on the 1st and we're going to St. Lucia. And I picked up two colors of both of these because one was like a little lighter and one was a little darker, obviously. Um, uh, and I think the darker one for both of these is going to be good when I have like a little bit of a tan. I don't really tan in general um, because I don't like the idea of sun damage. So I think that the warmer color will be perfect for when I'm just a little bit sun-kissed. So I would definitely say this Milani shade is full coverage and I like the way that it goes on it. I don't know if it's the Charlotte Tilbury or if it's the foundation uh, itself but it definitely gives like a glowy luminous appearance and I like that. On the other side we are going to use the Wet n Wild and I love that this is a little spatula. So I'm just going to put on both these colors you can see the difference of the colors. Um, just like totally different undertones especially. But mixed together, I really do think it works. But we'll see how it looks in the light. So I like this beauty blender. I don't know that I like love it more than my regular beauty blender. Um, it's a little bit more dense. But I do like the shape of it because it is nice to get into those little crevices. Okay. So looking at it, it's definitely not as like glowy as this side. So that definitely means that the Milani is more glowing than the Wet n Wild. This is also a, in my mind, a full coverage. I think both blended really well and they gave really nice coverage. Um, I'll definitely be like switching them up and using them for like more long wear things. Definitely for when I go to St. Lucia as well. I think that'll be really good. You can still kind of see pores in this area and I don't know if I just haven't concealed it enough or what, but I mean, usually I wanna see it like, like no pores at all. Um, okay, so moving on, I grabbed a couple different bronzers. So they have the physical, they had Physicians Formula. This is the Highlight Bronze Booster and the Butter Bronzer. So I grabbed both of these and then I also picked up the Wet n Wild Makeup Stick for contouring just because I've never really done a wet contour before. So I'm gonna try it on one side and then we'll try out this on the other side. Ooh, that was a little much. And then I also picked up the Eco Tools Blending and Bronzing Brush. I thought this would be really good for blending out a cream bronzer. So it looks pretty contoured to me. Everything shows up differently in this light, so I also don't know. Um, and then on this side, we're gonna use the Physicians formula bronzer and it comes with a little tool so I thought might as well use it so I'm gonna go in with this uh, when I was testing on my hand yesterday I realized it is so pigmented and the little tiniest bit will pick up so be careful it's better to build than to like try and blend out too much And sometimes when you put too much on it, I'll just go back in with this Eco Tools brush and blend it out. Like when I put on way too much the first time, I just um, use the Beauty Blender to blend it. And then just a little up here. So this is not as like strong as the NARS Eda brush, but it definitely works. So I think I like the draw your own contour better than the gel. The gel is like definitely more precise so I didn't do the nose. But I think I like how this turned up better. For the actual bronzer, we're gonna use this Physician's Formula um, and it comes with the 
what is this? I didn't even know this. It comes with this. I don't understand that. Probably won't use it either. Um, so I'm just gonna go with the Eco Tools Blending and Bronzing Brush again. Um, pick up a little. And just, this smells really, really good. And just bronze the outside. So this is definitely a really nice natural bronzer. I love the way that it just tans up the face. And this brush is also really nice. Just kind of move product around. Do I look tan? Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Miracle Mini Miracle Eye Wand. So the first side is actually the under eye cream that um, I put on earlier, so it's just nice and convenient in this thing. And then on the up uh, this side is the brightener. Um, I guess I should have done this before my bronzer. I'm not good at makeup. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just get so excited. But basically, what this does is it's just going to highlight. I'm not going to conceal today, um, just because I thought both of the foundations did that well enough. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see. If I'm going to use a little bit of this. And I'm just gonna highlight right in here, just where the dark parts are, and then right in there. I'll give a little love to the brows. My camera just shut off, but I just put a line down there, and then right on my cupid's bow. So this is really just going to highlight wherever um, and brighten. And she says that Charlotte Tilbury says that this works best with the warmth of your fingertips, so that's how we're going to rub it in. And we're just gonna pat, because you have to be really sensitive with your under eyes. And this, I once again tried it last night for the first time. It blends so easy. It's really a dream, and it's, it's like lightweight, but it does such a good job, it's so confusing, I don't understand. But it's literally amazing. If you look, I'm done. Like, that's it. And it looks like I have, I didn't put anything on, but all of a sudden my face is like totally now light. Crazy pants, right? Crazy pants. And it did a good job even though I already put my bronzer on. So, just saying. This is awesome. Next, I'm gonna go back in with this uh, highlight. And I picked up the Japanesque, um, fan brush and so I'm going to put it on the middle one right here because this is my kind of highlight. It's hard because this fan brush like wants to span all three but I don't want it to. So it's pretty good. It's like more of like a natural highlight um, at least in this light. I do like it. bad right glowy natural that's what I'm going for um, and then to finish up uh, I got the new legendary lashes by Charlotte Sobrey and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on um, one eye regular and then one eye with my Dior show primer this is not new but I'm just gonna show you the difference of it regular and then it with a primer on so I will be right back to show you this eye is with two coats of primer and one coat of mascara and this is with two coats of mascara they look pretty similar um, I usually just like to do a primer because it's just it's easier and they do look more full uh, this side is super messy but neither of them look bad what I would do really love about this is you know how like some mascaras come and they're just like too wet and you're just like you have to wait for it to dry and then put on more wait for it to dry but it's like right when they get a little bit older um, they get more like tacky so it's really easy to layer this is like how it starts out so I personally really really love that because that is what I look for in mascaras um, so I think it's amazing it's definitely up there with the Too Faced Better Than Sex for me. So Pixie sent me some misting sprays. So one of this is to set and hydrate. Um, set and hydrate. Makeup fixing mist? That's me. Okay. Makeup fixing mist with rose water, green tea. With rose water and green tea. So I'm just going to spray this. So it kind of smells getting the rose, which I just associate with like perfume. So definitely smells like that. It feels good. 
So let me go put on some lipstick and be right back. The lipstick I just put on is It Cosmetics um, in Damsel. It's just like my go-to like I don't really wear nude, but this is like as nude as I get. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not really a beauty guru at all. Don't like think of this as like a new tutorial. Just think of it as like an average girl just put it on and voila, she looks not too bad, not too shabby, right? Huh? Yeah, that's it for me today. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up because that lets me know you guys want to see more of them. Um, I will, as always, I'll talk to you guys in the comments below. And if you want to make my day, be sure to subscribe. And also make sure your little bell notification is on because my parents are like, I'm subscribed, but I never get your videos. And I'm like, parents, hello. You gotta hit the little bell button to get notified when I go up, which is like kind of annoying for YouTube. I don't know why I just put my hair down, but I did, so here we are. Um, so yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, bye.